they said I was too offensive. Good evening and welcome to At Home with Sly Stallone. Starring me, Sylvester Stallone, and my good friend Kirk, who lives in my converted garage. And now it's time for At Home with Sly Stallone. You know? Yo, 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 welcome to the show. My goodness, if we pull off this one, it will be a miracle. My gosh, we got a fun show. We got Kaylin Jenner here is going to do her dirtiest game show. And we got some pick-me-ups. Uh, we got these two pussies that are going to be here, too, that I hate. But uh, we got to bring them in here. That's just just so we don't get canceled. We got to bring those pussies I hate back those here. fucking pussies. I, I do, too, Kurt. But you be nice. We give them five minutes, and there'll be no trouble. It's like a shakedown. Right? It is like a shakedown. You're right. But anyway, you got to play the game, you know? If you want to play with the turkey, you got to make the mashed potatoes. I don't think that's what it is. Hey, listen, today's show is brought to us by Manscaped. We have a sponsor, you know? Yeah. And, and Kirby, you should use Manscaped because I know you don't have any on the, on the top there, but you still have a full mound of pubes. I've seen it. Could use some trimming. What? Yeah. I'm serious. You got that that bush you got down there, it's a choking hazard. Have some class. Don't let your special lady go down for salami and come up with a mouthful of carpet. It's not right. You need to why, clean up down there. Why would you know how much carpet I have? You live in my garage. I have cameras. I'm a celebrity. I need to have cameras everywhere. See you in the shower. Look at the shower cams. And I must say, God has blessed you, Kerb, with a prize-winning hog oh that you should God. really try to maintain better. The last time I checked, the yacht in your pants had run aground on Gorilla Island. <laughs> what's, what's, what's Gorilla Island? Your, your pubic mound. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Anyway, manscape right there. Look at this. Where's the thing that I don't know? It's like that. Look at that. Promo code Kyle for some reason. It's weird that their your promo code would be Kyle. That Am is I supposed weird. to read this copy now that yeah, you're Yeah, read me? something, Mike. Do something. Manscaped has just released the Lawnmower 4.0 shaver as part of the perfor performance package 4.0. Don't be like Kerp, who is an animal. They, Manscaped didn't f give you this copy. You're bringing the whole show down. Just do the thing. Come on. Okay, well, the performance we package 4.0 is available now. Clean up Four, your balls. Lawnmower 4.0. Yeah, featuring the lawnmower for, and uh, clean up your balls, Kerp. I don't know why it's directly at me. This is, you got to do that with more energy next time. This Maybe if it wasn't a here. weird revealing too much about me commercial. And they got, it's a sponsor and they got a good product here. It's a lawnmower 4.0. They got a flashlight. You know, Look at that. So you can see through that mess you got down there. There's a flashlight. All right. Okay. I'm sure it's a great product. I just Be nice. Uh, you my problem's not with Manscaped. That's a quality product. The, the, the shower cams is a little bit of a problem. But you, don't, you just don't have any pizzazz when you, when you say it. All right, look. Let's move on. Can we move on? Yeah. Do you mind if we start the show now? Yeah. You got a diary? Yeah, I got a diary. <laughs> look how Kirk knows what's going on. Before Scalant. <laughs> Here we go. Dear diary. Great news. I'm going on a celebrity spiritual cruise. It's going to be amazing. Just an intimate group of A-list celebrities on a super yacht attending seminars of Kabbalah, wellfulness, quietude, and havingness. There's an open turmeric bar, blood facials, colon massages, everything a guy could want. P.S. Did you just ask, what is Kabbalah diary? <laughs> it's like an ancient form of Jewish voodoo. And trust me, it works. <laughs> How about that diary? Oh, yeah, that, that's a yeah. current, that's like a current diary. This is something you're going to, the cruise? Yeah. How about that? How about the cruise, Kirk? Sounds amazing, right? 
I guess. What who? What celebrities are going to be on it? Oh my God! What celebrities aren't going to be at that? Let's see. We got Gail King, Fred Stewart, Julie Chen, Moonves, uh, <laughs> Anson okay. Elgort, Mark Ruffalo's brother, Dennis Ruffalo, great guy, mm. Rabbi Shmuley, Botich, you know mm. him, Oprah's rabbi, yeah, M- Mullah Omar. The, a lot what? of people. Wait, the leader of the Taliban? The, he, I think that guy is dead. Wait, no, not not Mullah Omar. Padma Lakshmi. Oh, that's what I okay. meant. Okay, yeah. all right. And Bindi Irwin. <laughs> oh, wow. I, it's, so she could, takes care of animals. This right. goes on and on. Best part, there's no cell phones, you know, no shoes, no pants. Everyone wears just a shirt. With the stands of openness, you know, protect them from the sun with the shirt. But he basically, people that know, but everyone's nude, so it's not weird. You know, you're not so, nude. Um, you just said you're wearing just, you, yeah, so we, it's we, nude, we, but just a shirt is. is yeah, we're porky picking it, you know, for the sun, you know. But uh, you get the energy there through the dong chakra. Listen, I need to tell you something though, and uh, it's hard for me to tell you. Uh, it's a little emotional, and I want to oh. tell you now. Oh, okay. Okay. So I uh, I had to try something. Uh, that I did back when uh, I did therapy with uh, Brigitte Nielsen. We got very yeah. emotional and volatile. Right, so you had the, a tempestuous the, relationship, I remember. It was very tempestuous, that's right. Mm. So the therapist had us express ourselves through this. It's called an emotional distance puppet, okay? Mm-hmm. Wait, so yeah? that's like a therapy puppet. Yes, this adds a layer of distance and uh, ob- objectivity to difficult conversations. Okay. So, oh, yeah, no, it's okay. Well, uh, is, does he have like a name or something? It doesn't have a name, Kirk. It's just a, it's just a puppet. This isn't a therapeutic. It, it's like it's not a, a, a kid show crap thing. This is a, a an adult puppet for therapy. Okay. It's still me speaking through my emotional distance puppet. Makes sense. Okay. So that okay. Wait, somebody put a comment. Um, wait, yeah, why is the puppet black? Did, is that a part of it or it, just? I, I didn't even really notice that. It's kind of strange that you did, to be honest, though. Oh. But this is my puppet of color. It's a POC. Okay. All right. It's I Listen, it's fine. I'm not trying to make a, it's just I never heard of it before, but I believe you. You're um, making it weird, to be honest. You're what, now making it weird. What is, okay, well, just what is it you have to tell me that you okay, can only say let, through okay, a let's puppet? Okay, let's start. The puppet will be speaking but it's me, understand? Yes. Like, this is mm-hmm. still me, Kurt. I'm speaking okay. to you as me, Kurt. Oh, all right. Right here, understand? Yes. Okay, Kurt, yes. you remember that amazing celebrity spiritual cruise I was telling you about? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I do. You are not invited. <laughs> oh. Look, okay. I'm sorry. Okay. I begged them to bring you, but it's just, it's kind of an exclusive thing, you know? Uh-huh. It's a certain level of, of people that are going on this. I tried telling them you were a joke magician thing or whatever, but they said definitely no. And I am sorry. Uh, okay. Well, you know what, Sly? It's cool. It doesn't really seem like my kind of thing, so, I mean, don't worry about it, man. Uh, you expect me to believe that crap? Come on. You, you, that you wouldn't want to go on some spiritual relaxing cruise with turmeric smoothies and hanging out with French Stewart Bottomless, doing all these... Nice, relaxing things. I mean, I maybe it sounds hard to believe, but I swear to you, I'm telling the truth. Oh, my God. Now you, I feel like you're yelling at me now. I told <laughs> you I was going to do this. What is it? Like, it's going. It's our, it's, our, it's our friend. Come on. Not doing this no more. I tried to be nice. What is you happening? Know? I'll tell you what's happening. You're dead to me. Hey, whoa, whoa. All right, let's... This didn't go as... Exactly how I thought it would, but was I'm, okay. I feel a little bit better, to be honest. Oh well, good. I'm not. I don't care about the thing. It's fine. It's, you have to tell me through a puppet. You could just. You me. need a puppet. You're not being honest with me. Let's let's do a let's do a pick me up. Why don't we do that? You want a yo's or no? Oh yeah, yo's. I forgot. Curbs running the show. Everybody, let's do some yo's. <laughs> it's time for a yo. Come on, let's cleanse our palate here. Let's do some yo's. Come on. It got so Stop heated. Some yo, stop some yo's. Come on. Yo, Benetton. Come on. Come on, Benetton. Yo. Reverend Ben. 
Throw up them yours fast, baby. Come on. Rent and Stucky says yo. Yeah, this right. is yours. Honor Mansion is yours. Lisa Fish is yours. Kind of long DJ to my cry, but all around else. the world give it some yours. Yay. Look your at that. Look great, so, is yours. You? What's that? I think your glasses look pretty great. Yeah, I had to wear the glasses. Too. I can't see anything anymore. Mm. I actually just forgot to take them off, and then I thought they looked cool. <laughs> yeah. You're drinking through your mouth now. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I always did. Look at all those yos. Yeah. All those yos feed me. It was a nice field of yos, that's for sure. Hell yeah. All right, let's do a little bit of a pick-me-up. Come on. Take... Rocky, you can do it. Pick-me-ups. Future pick me up edition. What, can we take Dustin Del Rio down off the screen? Uh, sorry. You're asking way too much from a baby. <laughs> Get down. <laughs> Get down. It's, it's not coming down. It's not coming down. So that will be up the whole time. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Okay. We're having so, troubles with the computers? No, Wait, is the computer just gone rogue? Yeah, putting the up baby videos? looks like she's a robot thing. Okay. okay it's I fine. like that positive baby attitude. Babies have a they have positive attitudes. Well, it's still up. Wait, can it go down? She likes it. Leave it. <laughs> I uh, okay. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Or is that is that? <laughs> <laughs> Look, if the baby wants a yo up, there we leave it up. Do they use right. the future pick me up music? Well, all right. What's You're this pick me up? about that cruise still. Let's do this. I'm not up. mad about the cruise. Let's do the pick me up. <laughs> all right. Baby, hit that thing. And Is don't the right play one? the whole thing. <laughs> Rocky, you can do it. Pick me up. All right, this pick me up goes out to all the unwanted fetuses in Texas over seven weeks old who are being forced to be born because of that crazy new law. I am sorry, fetuses. What? For Wait, what? What? What do you? You're sorry, fetuses are going to be born? Yeah, because. Yeah, because now they're going to have a terrible life with a mother who doesn't want them around. That's why. Uh, okay. Imagine never trusting your own mom, breastfeeding with one eye open, wondering when your baby legs will be strong enough to run if she decides to finish the job. That's really, their reality now. I, I, I really think this What's is your not, problem? I, I don't think you want to wade into the... Texas abortion law thing. I don't think it's a. I, don't, I really don't get it. Need deep in it. There's no waiting. Let's keep going. You don't know nothing, Kerb. Unwanted fetuses. I'm talking to you. Just because a person who was supposed to love you the most wanted to have you pumped out of your uh, belly like bad sushi, it doesn't mean you're not loved. I thought the whole point of this was that they're not loved. It's called pesos, Kerp. <laughs> All the other fetuses in heaven laughing at you, saying you could be up here just chilling, but instead you have to live on and on and on, knowing that when your mom saw that positive pregnancy test, her first words were, I need a six-pack and a ride to the clinic. But after she killed that six-pack, she passed out and forgot to kill you. Oh, my God. I know God. right now you're the size of a half a Tic Tac. But you got a heart the size of Texas. And probably later in life, you'll have an oxy habit of a comparable size. <laughs> Either way, you can look your mom in the eyes and say, Ha ha, bitch. I'm the reason you never finished improv class. You know? Is that look a, at that pick me up. Is that a high rate of not finishing improv classes from an unwanted pregnancy? Yeah, a lot of women get, that get pregnant are, are in improv class. It's where people intermingle and have sex mm. because it's not a real thing to learn that. <laughs> There's a lot of downtime. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Hey. Hey, Kurt. Yeah, yeah. It's time that we uh, have to give the show over to him. Oh, uh, my God. I can't believe. These, these, these pussies. I apologize. I don't even want to call them that because they like it. They fucking suck. Why do they, they like it? I don't know. Right. I don't get anything. I don't know. All right, baby. Hen, baby. baby. How long baby. is this going to be? I don't know. Maybe the baby wants to put up another yell for 20 minutes. <laughs> Give me five minutes. Baby, uh, hand the show over. Okay. I am woman, hear me roar. In numbers too big to ignore. And nobody's there. 
And I just want to say to the men of this country, just shut up. When we ride at midnight to kill all men, we will spare the trans. My name is Rose McGowan, and I'm obviously fucking brave. Welcome to Pussies, the podcast about women, for women, by, by men, men who, who support, support women. women. I'm your host, Michael. With me, as always, is Michael. Michael, hello. And hello to you, Michael. We have some wonderful news for you all today. A um, little backstory. Michael came to me a while ago about an idea for a children's book about gender. Uh, when I heard his pitch, I immediately started to cry. And Michael, you said to me something very... Oh, uh, uh, no, I, I actually also began to cry. That's right. You began to cry first. And then you said to me, why are you crying, Michael? And um, I said, because my son Allison never got to read this book. And, and that made me cry even more. And then at and that we were, point... We were both uh, crying pretty uh, hard. And, yeah. And uh, my, my partner, Stacy, came in rolled her eyes, and then closed the door, giving us some space, which I thought was nice. And postscript, uh, as I was leaving, I thought I could hear Stacy crying from behind the door herself. So mm -hmm. it really did touch a lot of uh, hearts that day. Yes, absolutely. So um, let's just jump right into the book, mm -hmm. and we're going to read it for you all. It is on pre-sale as we speak on mm -hmm. uh, our website that... Uh, our wonderful, wonderful producer, uh, Jessica, has created Holding Mice Self Accountable. Mm-hmm. Um, it's... Chain, uh, we, she had a creative way of spelling Holding Mice Self Accountable. We kept it because we liked it. And it's not... I don't want to give the impression that this is a children's book, although if you have children, please ask them to come into the room so they can hear the reading of it. Uh, it's for all ages, and I believe as an author that read all readers should be spoken to as if they were five. Well said. Here we go. It's time to shut up and listen. And the title of the book is My Wee Wee is Also a Pee Pee and Maybe a Poo Poo. Illustrated by Jessica Montez, written by Michael and Michael. Michael, please do the honors. There once was a young person named Vermont. One day, while using the potty, Vermont became curious about their body. So Vermont went to their Madi and Pom Pom and said, Do I have a pee pee or a wee wee? Vermont's Madi said, Yes and yes. But how? said Vermont. A pee pee can be a wee wee if the pee pee feels like a wee wee, and wee wees can also be pee pees, said Madi. What? Vermont didn't understand. Pussies are Pussies are experiencing technical difficulties, but it's not Jessica's fault. Nor is it any woman's fault. Please hold us accountable for this man interruption. Right. Pussies are experiencing technical difficulties, but it's not Jessica's fault. Nor is it any woman's fault. Please hold us accountable for this man interruption. All right, baby. Any of you, any of you wonder if this show is live? You just got uh, some proof that it is. There was a whole thing there that uh, totally got screwed up, but who cares? Because the best part of the show is Caitlin's Dirty Game Show, baby, which is what we're going to be playing now. Let's bring in my co-host, Peter the Perv, because this is the dirtiest game show on the Internet. It's great, to, it's great to be here. I'm not wearing any pants. I'm just kidding. I, we didn't really didn't know that, Peter. Now, Peter, um, what, did, what did you do today? Tell us uh, what you did today. I want to get to know you a little bit. I went to the mall. Oh, well, that's normal. I like that. You did something normal. Went to the mall. Okay. I watched, a woman getting, I watched a woman getting massaged in one of those chairs outside of one of the stores, and, and, and 
I've watched her for a really long time. Just, just kidding. I watched her for a normal amount of time. Okay. No amount of time is normal. Peter, you shouldn't be watching. I smelled the chair after she left. Oh God. Okay. I smelled Peter. like roses and tuna. Just kidding. Oh my God. Well, this is the, the dirtiest game show. So that's why we have Peter. I actually met Peter cause he was peeping in on me at Fred Siegel's when I was changing. People say I should have called the cops, but I thought who better to co-host the show than Peter the perv. And thanks for Ready? saving my life. You're, so You're welcome, Peter. Let's bring in our contestant who's playing for a t-shirt. Who is this? Hi, my name's Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Tell me something about yourself. Oh, well, I'm a mom. I have a seven-month-old baby. Oh, my I'm God. I'm I'm sorry. I'm so... I thought I'd be interested, but you're not famous, so it doesn't... I don't know why, but I don't care at all. Let's just play the game. What do you say? Okay, let's do it. All right, let's do it, guys. There's a lot of rules. You got to get all three questions right to win that T-shirt, and it's not easy. This first game is called Name That Dirty Sex Act, Baby. Peter is going to give you three sex act. You've got to pick the one that's actually a sex act because he made up the other two. Peter, go ahead. What are the three sex acts? I made up up two two of these, and then you just got to find out what the, and then there's one that's real. Okay, you understand, Leisha? Yeah, I understand. All right. Now, when you give your answer, you've got to, we're going to ask you if you want to lock that pick. Are you going to say that you lock that pick on? Lock that pick on? You'll hear. Pickle locked. It will be locked. All right, Peter, go ahead. Okay, Okay, so the, the first one is a baked. Cream pie. Baked cream pie. All right. Don't linger, one, Peter. Just say the three of them. Second one is a Kentucky Klondike bar. Kentucky Klondike bar. Remember, it's a very dirty game, yeah? And the Golden Curtain Call. Golden Curtain Call. Those are All the right. three. Now we're going to put you on the clock. When you hear this sound, that's your time's up. All right? Put 20 seconds on the clock. Here you go, Lisa. Which is the real dirty sex act? Talk it through. Okay. Um... I think I'm just going to go ahead and lock, uh, lock that pickle. Okay, well, what, what is your pickle? We can't just lock nothing. What is your pickle? <laughs> the golden curtain call. Pickle go- locked. That pickle's locked, baby. Peter? Uh, that's, Did she? That's, that's the- oh, I'm sorry. That's not <gasps> correct. The correct okay. answer was what, Peter? The, the Kentucky Klondike okay. bar was the right and, answer. And what is a Kentucky Klondike bar? Is, is it, she supposed to... St- st- Say what she thinks it is. Oh yeah, what do you think uh, a Kentucky Klondike bar is? Oh, you're supposed to say sorry. You're supposed to say <laughs> I screwed this up. What What do you think a Kentucky Klondike bar is? God, I don't know. It sounds like candy's involved. I'm not uh, sure. Not really. Not really, Peter. <laughs> did, she, did she lock the pickle? She locked the pickle. What's a okay. Kentucky Klondike can, bar? It's the act of freezing a bowel movement and then sexually oh, penetrating another person with the frozen bowel movement. I'm sorry, Lisa. I told you it's a very dirty game. That's All right, okay. we're gonna go. We're gonna go on to round two. You still well, can to, win. I'm sorry. I, I, I would like to. I worked so hard on the other two ones. I wanted to tell. You me. did a good job. You want to tell you, the Lisa. other one? The other. Lisa, you I want to tell you what a baked cream pie is. Okay, what's a baked cream pie, Peter? It's when you promise that you're not going to ejaculate in, in, inside of the girl with your bodily fluids, and then the last second you do, and then at the same time you fart and you pull the covers over her. <laughs> That's a baked cream pie. That's disgusting. And the, and the, and the golden curtain call. What is, is that? Is, is when you have a bunch of people watching you have sex and the woman jumps off and, and as she pees and pulls her labia down. Uh, okay. Ve- okay. Very, very. Re- I'm regretting that very much. I, I worked I really hard on that those. Was. Okay. Thank, thank, very good. You're doing very good, Peter. All right. For round two, we're going to take Peter down because he's really disturbing me. And we're going to bring in some help for you. You ready for some help? It's my. Yeah, I'm ready for some help. All right, it's my daughter, Courtney Kardashian. Hi, Court. Hi, Caitlin. Listen, I'm so busy with Megan Fox. I have five minutes. That's it. Okay. Well, God forbid you gave me more than five minutes. That's kind of typical. Um, Courtney is going to give you like your lifeline, okay, Lisa? So she's going to help you out. Okay? okay. Okay. Let's do round two, baby. This is called Name His Sex Crime. I'm gonna show you two sex criminals. You gotta name their sex crime, understand? Yes. All right, we're gonna have to bring up Peter the Perv again, unfortunately. I was gonna ask if I could, if, 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 if Courtney could uh, give me some of her panties, extra panties. Oh me. my God, no, Courtney's not I'll gonna give you any it. of her panties. Oh, I'll pay. Gross. You'll pay, no thank you, Peter. Yeah, I'm, Jesus, I mean like if that, he's Court. paying, how much? You're not, there's no price. Come on, let's play the next round. Name that 
Sex crime, baby. Okay, stakes are high here, Lisa. This sex criminal, his name is Liam Henderson. Okay. Ew. We're okay. gonna bring. We're gonna bring. Pre, Peter's gonna uh, give you the clues of what he did. You have to guess by Peter's clues what his sex crime was. Understand? Yeah. All right. Would, Peter, I, you I ready? Would like, I would like to do it in, in music and song. Remember? remember you want to sing your your clue? Okay. I want to sing my clue. Okay. Well, have you sing your clue? Okay. Start spreading those legs. You did this last time. I'm jizzing right now. Where are the clues? Splash guard. Splash guard. Up, clo up close and, and personal. Up close and personal. Better check the batteries. Better check the batteries. Those are the clues. Those are the clues. Up close and personal. Better check the batteries. And splash guard. Leisha, think it through. Talk to us what you're thinking about. What do you think it is? Court, you want to give her a little help? Yeah. Well, give me some help, Court. I mean, his shirt looks like it costs $2 from a drive through Walmart. He's gross. That's a good point. Yeah. That's a it good looks point. very mischievous. I'm not that sure what he did. It. Lisa, what do you think he did? I don't know. Did he get caught masturbating in the library? And splash guard. I'm trying to think what a splash guard could. Oh, I'm sorry. That's your time. Yeah. That's, that's incorrect. Peter, what did he do? I think Lisa did very well, but she was wrong. But was he, he's a, owned a record store, and he would film. Uh, we put a camera in the toilet so it could look up as, as a woman pee. Camera in the toilet. That's where Splash Card oh. came from, yeah. Gotcha. And the batteries were for the camera. Batteries for the camera. Very creative, Peter. All right, here is your final game, Lisa. You have to get this right. I, I got to. You have to, to win your T-shirt. I want to. I want to do the music again. You want to sing again? Okay, but don't do, uh. don't do the uh, start spreading your legs thing. All right. Okay, I promise. Here you go. This is Ricky Mauer, A.K.A. Sticky Ricky. Go ahead, P uh, Peter. Start spreading your legs. I said, don't do that. I'm jizzing right now. Oh my God! Just do the clues. Gorgita Supreme. Gorgita Supreme. Run for the border. Run for the border. Creamed beans. Creamed beans. Did you get those? Yes. Okay. Corey, you want to give her a little help? I mean, he looks like he's got Chloe's old head and too much lip filler. That's a Ew. good point. That's a good point. Uh, Le Lisa, what do you think Ricky did? Cream beans, run for the border, burrito supreme. Let's put you on the clock. Just for I a t-shirt. I think he did something sexually inappropriate at Taco Bell. Like he okay. works at Taco Bell. What did he do at Taco Bell? Jizzed in the meat. You were so close. That's incorrect. You were so she, close. She was, she, was, yeah. she was really close because it was in the beans and not the meat, but everything else was right. Oh, I should have really? said food. Just oh, in the food. I'm sorry, <laughs> Lisha. Lisha, you didn't win. I'm sorry, but thank you so much for playing. Kayla's That's okay. Dirty game show. You were thank a great you. contestant. We'll be playing this again. Peter, thanks um, for joining us. Court, listen, thanks for... What? Yeah, Caitlin, this is just not a good look for your brand. I mean, oh, what is... Oh, shut up, my brand. I mean, you're on YouTube. This is a cry for help. What are help. you doing? What are I'm you doing? I'm just trying to help you. Jay, you, you, you were a fat kid. I don't know if you know this. No, people okay, try to hide that from you, the uh, pictures and stuff, but... Right, well, let's just try to get you on a... Hi, this is Bill Maher. You may know me from the video where I get gang-banged. Here's the situation. Only 3% of you people have notifications turned on. Since YouTube thinks you'll be offended and cry to mommy, they've limited access to some of our videos, so you may have missed classics like Michael Jackson singing to children. When killing hits, that's the rule you gotta You got to get back to school! or pussies reviewing Star Wars. This is the first film, but it identifies as the fourth one. New rule, if you wanna be notified when a video goes up, click this and click that, okay? And if you wanna see the after party, good luck. It's fucking impossible to join. <laughs> what is gonna happen? Sly, Peter? I mean, I've got to go. 
where's Peter the perv? And where's where? Hi. Hello. What happened? Is is? Well, this is a very strange show, and also, I don't know why Peter the perv had to go make a costume change. That doesn't really add up. <laughs> he just has one costume. Baby, is Sly going to be okay? Um, hey, so, yo, what's happening with this show today? I this don't know. is a disastrous show. You know, I kind of like it, though, Kurt, because you cannot say this show is not live. Well, I'm you glad know? those pussies got cut off in a stupid story, at least. I don't, yeah, they got cut off. I think we're going to have to show that again some other time. You know? We will. Maybe the after party? Maybe the, uh, the after party. We're gonna, we're gonna, we'll show it. We'll show the whole thing. Yo. Try to start join the after thing? party. It's a disaster. What's that? I think I'm going to start a whole thing. If you don't, are you going to have to like show it? They're gonna make, it's going to be a thing. It, it's a whole thing. You're right, Kurt. And I don't blame you for being disappointed. This whole show today has been one disappointment for Kirby after another. And you don't deserve that, you know? Thank you for saying it yourself and not through a puppet. Oh, I forgot. I should say that through the puppet. I don't know. No? I'm going to do my diary. We're going to get out of here. Okay. Hey, Kurt. Yeah? Why do you think Baby's still here? I I was like, <laughs> I don't know. I like to hear. Just kidding. I like you here, Baby. Don't, don't even think twice about that. I'm going to do my diary. You two both stay here with me because we need to hold hands after this show. You know? Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, I actually do have to take it down, diary. I mean, diary. Baby. Dear diary, <laughs> I don't feel comfortable saying this to you directly, so I'm going to say it using my EDPOC, my Emotional Distant Puppet of Color. Oh, God. Diary, lately I have been getting really into autoneurotic suffixation. I know they say it's dangerous, but it's the only way I can come. Oh, Jesus. Whew. That's way easier saying it through an ED pack. Wait, there's a question here. Yeah. Yo, Sil, have you tried using the Autoblow AI with your electric bed? And if so, would you recommend? Absolutely. Use the Autoblow and then you use the man you use the Manscape 4.0, Lawnmower 4.0 first. The pro promo package. code Kyle, twenty percent right. off, Kerp. That's a <laughs> okay. good deal. I got the mat. Can I? Even, didn't they send you one? Do I have to buy my own? You you have to buy your own, but but Stallone is you could you could get this whole package day. This guy twenty percent off. That's a good way to support the show. We're gonna see you at the after party. We have a lot to talk about at the after party. Like holy shit, we have to fix this show. Is one topic. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. But Kurt, yeah. this show always ends with a positive note. You know why? Cause it's it's yeah. not that it's, you know, late at night or it's Thursday. It's because mm. of something else. It's time for a yo. Come on, everybody. Sometimes life gives you limits, but you can always make yo's. Come on. Come on, Kirby. Mathematic gives a yo. gives you lemons, make yo. He's Steve Garrett's getting a yo in there. Come on, let's do some yo's around the world. Let's cleanse that palate, Sloan. Come oh on. My gosh. Human being yo. Here's a yo, yo, yo. Lee Cockrell's got a yo. He's a member. Look at all these yo's coming in. Makes you feel I a little need, better, right, Kurt? I need Howdy, a Howdy, holla, good to yo's. Longer dong, 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 sis, sis, da, 